We recommend you to use subtitles since this film is hard to understand at some points. This does evolve some context from previous videos. Their links are in the description. Other than that, grab your popcorn and enjoy the film. Welcome to the Stepford National Television. In just a moment, we will bring you to the news studio for another broadcast of Stepford Nightly News with Train Spotting Mayhem. It is now six o'clock. Good evening. I am Train Spotting Mayhem from Stepford Nightly News, not from the BBC. Here is our headlines. Benton man shoots a woman in the local shopping centre. Boris Johnson's hair. <sighs> Why do I work here? And VexSG will be here in the studio to talk about an upcoming furry convention in Stepford Exhibition Centre. But first, we'll be tuning in live from Stepford County Council, as Council Leader Joris Bonson gives a speech about the latest situations that have been happening in the county. Good evening everyone, hope you had a fantastic day. Uh, so you yeah, know that there's been a series of events recently. Uh, uh, this includes the Boeing disaster, workers strike a canal, and uh, an express train crashing at Stepford Central. This uh, altogether caused uh, over 139,126 deaths, 369 and 12 injuries, trillions of pounds and uh, millions of people frustrated, traumatised and worried. Here at uh, the Stafford County Council, our job is to keep our local people happy. We are trying our best to fix our county. We are currently working with the Prime Minister to cover the damages we, uh, I mean the unusual events that have made. We are so sorry for the victims. We are sorry for the uh, people who have experienced these such events. No one wants to uh, see this. In order to get things back on track, we suggest you stop protesting, and uh, these protests are preventing us from saving steps for, for good. Uh, we also suggest you to not be part of the activist group Besserland, the ones who are quote-unquote helping the area. They are not, but instead making it worse. Anyway, that uh, concludes this speech. I am now going to eat cocoa pots with mayonnaise in the evening. I also have to sleep early at 8pm, uh, so I go to Peppa Pig World nice and eat early. That's all, mate. Cheerio. Well, that's all from Joris Bonson. Later on, Vex will be in the studio with us talking about the upcoming furry convention. Join us back after the break. All these little snakes. We want change! We want change! We don't want to listen to Smelly Joris. We don't like the council. We want f***ing change. Hello, this is Dweller, not from BBC News. Behind me, there's been a crowd forming in Stepford East, demanding to stop Joris Bonson from messing up our county. Apparently the leader of Betterland will be revealed and be making a speech on how the county should be managed. Oh, uh, apparently he's about to arrive any moment. I'm going to leave it to the leader. Hello everyone! Today we will start to take serious action to the council, telling them to shut up! As a journalist, I've been delivering the news for SCN for two years. The longer I became part of the team, it started to get fishy. When I asked for more in front of the news, they refused and stutter. Therefore, I'm sure that we are being feeded with propaganda and we will eventually stop it. Now, we ought to spread our message Tell your friends, tell your parents, tell your partner, anyone you have contact with. The only way to get rid of them is to pressure them. This is the way. What are you waiting for? Let's flood the streets! Well, that was James Stepford, former correspondent of SCN, with his words against Joris Bonson. As you can see now, the people are on the roads, shouting for change. That's all from Stepford East, back to you. You knew why I brought you here. No. Why? I have an idea to finish Joris Bonson. Go ahead. First of all, we pretended to be people bringing props to a TV sitcom called The Stepford Man. If that doesn't work, we used a gun. Do we have guns? I have them. Anyways, we, we then bashed the door 
and I do the face. You guys just stand next to me to make me feel cool. Are we involved in this? Yes, that's why I brought you here. Can I not go? No. Please. I'll give you a raise. Fine. Cool. I'll meet you guys at 6.20 p.m. next to the HQ. Are you guys ready? Yes. Guns, wait. Oh no. I didn't bring any. We can still go the normal way we planned. Wait. We can vent. We have the CEO of Transport for Stepford and the council leader. They'll be giving us more info on how they will improve the railway network. Hello, Ben, and hello, Joris. Glad to be here. Glad to be here, too. Okay, so how are you going to improve the network? Well, I thought, first of all, we are going to check all the employees as an exam to check where you are. This is to make sure that there are no problems with their skills. The express incident was caused by the driver being stupid. Our total network is already 69% fully upgraded and should be working as usual. Our estimation to complete the upgrade is 2024. Uh, also, 80% of our fleet have been matched. The remaining fleet should be completed in the next 5 years. Wow, that sounds great to me. Uh, Joris, how about you? Well, uh, uh, I'll try to invest as much as possible. More investment, the uh, better. Of course, uh, the workers' strike happened, so we try to uh, give them the uh, best condition. Oh. 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 You, you little, uh, great swooping protoplasmic invertebrate jellies. You think you are saving the county? Oh, don't try to be the hero, Joris. We all know you're here to make propaganda. Um, I'm just gonna leave. Okay, no one cares. Explain. You made a stutter in your speech. You said we are currently working with the Prime Minister to cover the damages we, uh, I mean the unusual events that have made. The stutter, the covering, the damages, that shows a little leak. You said we, as the council, you planned all of this and you are trying to hide the truth. Is that all you got? A little stutter? Uh, surely that can't be all of it. That's not all. I got top secret documents to the government mentioning the propaganda, hiding the real information. It says, to succeed, propaganda should be present and hide the real information, especially the better land situation. Uh, let me see. This can be fake. Oh, I got one more piece that you can't say is fake. Joe, you passed the tape to the floor manager. I want to go to the Okay, play it now! Uh, hello? Uh, uh, yes please? Uh, uh, yeah, make the advert talking about, uh, how bad Betterland is. Yes, uh, I know it's not true, they're trying to do the right thing, but, uh, we gotta stop them, and also compare it to our council. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, thanks. Uh, Bye. Uh, what the? Uh, I, uh... Got anything to explain? You were right. I can't, uh, believe it. Uh, the population was unsustainable according to, uh, statistics. By, uh, 2030, we should be doomed if we didn't do anything. Uh, it was overpopulated by millions, so we, uh, decided to kill people, and we hope we won't find out. It's not your choice. There are better ways to fix overpopulation than killing other people. I, uh, need to go. Can I have the spot, Mr. Mayhem? Um, sure, yeah, I'll, I'll leave, I'll leave. Okay, so, after this program, we will have a new ca- Hold up. Pingu! Hello? What are you doing here? Just to cover up some things. Report us? Well, we'll see as we progress. First of all, how are you going to run the country? Oh, we'll make cheap houses, low tax cost, free surgeries, no matter what type, equality on economy, no one is rich, no one is poor. Communism? Uh... That's literally communism. Do you know any stable communist governments 
that have seen as a good country based on their choice on ideology? Uh, I should have prepared this. We used to be friends, man. Why'd you have to betray me like that? You tried to hide it, didn't you? Oh, hi, I'm James. Uh, I hate propaganda. Definitely not hiding one. <laughs> <laughs> so, where do I begin? Well, first of all, it's been a while since I appeared on TV. Hello. Secondly, let me tell you what I would do. We will invest in expanding cities and transport to keep a population not too crowded. We will give people more opportunities. We will have the new CEO of Transport for Stepford. We have new employees for the new studio. We will give people a high quality of life and make sure they have good working conditions. Finally, there will be a new government. We will be stronger, better and more cooperative. Oh yeah, and by the way, the Stephen Knightley news was used to get rid of SCN as it did not suit their upcoming choices to what they would have done to the county and the country. We are bringing SCN back, with me included. Tomorrow, you will wake up with a dream. My name is Pinga Pegwitson, and make sure you have a peaceful night.